If you're looking for a place to work remotely, you might want to consider becoming a digital nomad. Digital nomads are people who use technology to live and work outside the traditional office setting. They are able to live anywhere in the world that they choose with their laptop as their only essential item. In this blog post, we will discuss 10 of the best places around the world for digital nomads. The digital nomad lifestyle is fast-paced, exciting, and full of new adventure. The best part about it, you get to pick where you work. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just dipping your toes into the world of remote jobs, there's something for everyone in this list of 10 destinations that are perfect for digital nomads. 1. Chiang Mai, Thailand. A lot of people have been contacting me lately, asking how to become a digital nomad in Chiang Mai. It's not that hard, but there are some things you need to know before making the jump. That's why I'm writing this blog post, to give you the inside scoop on what it takes and what you should expect if you want to be a digital nomad in Thailand. Chiang Mai is a great place to be for digital nomads. It's not too expensive, it has plenty of co-working spaces and coffee shops with fast internet connections, and the occasional free beer. There are tons of co-working events going on every week, you name an activity that would make your life as a remote worker easier. Chiang Mai does have. There are a couple of downsides. The weather can get pretty hot during certain months so if this isn't something which bothers people in general then I don't think we need worry about it. But other than some heat waves here and there, Thailand offers everything any aspiring location independent entrepreneur could want, cheap living expenses plus low-cost flights from various locations. Another issue could be that during certain months the local farmers burn their fields to reset them prior to planting new seeds, the air quality can drop a lot during this burning season. There are plenty of co-working spaces and coffee shops where you can work from if you decide to do so. The cost of living is low, the food and culture are amazing. There's a lot to do here so if you're looking for an exotic destination with plenty going on. 2. Medellin, Colombia. Have you ever wanted to just pack up and leave your job behind? I know that's what I've always dreamed of. Well, if you want to become a digital nomad in Medellin then this blog post is for you. I'm going to give you the lowdown on how being a digital nomad in Medellin will change your life for the better. Plus, we'll cover some of the best places for coffee shops and co-working spaces. Medellin is a beautiful city in Colombia with plenty of things to do. It's also one of the cheapest places on this list, so if you're looking for an affordable destination then Medellin should be your first choice. The cost of living here isn't too bad and there are tons of co-working spaces that will let nomads work from their space as long they buy coffee every day, or something like it. There aren't many digital marketing jobs available but I know some people who have found success freelancing online while working remotely out of these coffee shops so don't worry about not finding any gigs either, if all else fails just find yourself another job because being able to explore new cultures without having responsibilities. 3. Ubud, Bali. Have you always wanted to become a digital nomad but never knew where to start? I remember the feeling well. But that is all in the past now because I have found an amazing place for you Ubud, Bali. Ubud has everything you need as a digital nomad. It's got cheap living, great internet speeds and lots of cafes with free Wi-Fi. It also has plenty of amenities such as grocery stores, pharmacies, restaurants and bars nearby so you can enjoy life without having to spend your money on food or drinks. This is a great place for digital nomads because it has everything you need and the cost of living isn't too high. It's also in close proximity to other countries such as Thailand, Singapore or Malaysia so if your work needs some international flair then this could be just what they are looking. Being a digital nomad in Bali can be a wonderful experience because of the cheap living, great internet speeds and lots of cafes with free Wi-Fi. It also has plenty amenities such as grocery stores, pharmacies, restaurants, bars nearby so you can enjoy life without having to spend your money on food or drinks. The cost for a meal in Ubud can range from $2 up to $20 which means that it's not too expensive but still provides an enjoyable experience. This place would be perfect if you want some international flair from other countries close by. Your work needs something different than what they are used to seeing every day at home, i.e. more creative. If there isn't much difference between where you live now versus Bali then this could make sense because everything will just feel like home, again after being away from your hometown. 4. Bangkok, Thailand. Bangkok is one of the top destinations for those wanting to live an independent lifestyle as a digital nomad. There are many reasons why this would be a great destination, from the friendly people and low cost of living to the abundant cultural experiences and beautiful scenery. 
The Thai people are some of the friendliest in all of Asia, and they will go out their way to make sure you have a great time. The cost of living is low so it's easy on your wallet too. Bangkok has plenty going around with temples galore as well many other cultural experiences like cooking classes or Muay Thai boxing lessons which can be found at any number of places throughout town, or even online. You'll never get bored here because there always seems something new popping up every day from markets selling fresh fruits and vegetables that were just picked off trees this morning. Street food stalls offering delicious dishes such as pad CEW noodles cooked by an old lady who learned how when she was young girl back home near Chiang Mai. Bangkok has many co-working spaces and it's really popular location for digital nomads as it's easy to find a space with fast Wi-Fi, good coffee and plenty of other digital nomads. The best time for Bangkok is the cool season from November through February when it's not too hot or humid but there are still enough warm days left that you can enjoy outdoor activities like biking around town in relative comfort, or even on your own bike if bring one. If visiting during this period make sure pack light clothing such as shorts and t-shirts because evenings will be cooler than daytime temperatures which average about 30 degrees Celsius year-round. 6. Siem Reap, Cambodia. If you're reading this article then you are probably considering becoming a digital nomad. Maybe you have an entrepreneurial spirit and are looking for the next big adventure. Perhaps your 9 to 5 lifestyle is driving you crazy and it's time to take a break from your job and explore the world while still making money. Whatever your reason, there are many reasons why people might want to become a digital nomad, but how do they get started? Seam Reap is a pretty affordable place to live, especially when compared with the West, making it a really cheap place to live. There are plenty of hostels and hotels in the area, but they can be quite expensive for those on tight budgets, so it might make sense if you want some privacy or have more money than time, or visa, restrictions then renting an apartment is your best bet. The cost will vary depending upon where exactly within Seam Reap that one wants their home base from which neighborhood. However most apartments should start at about $400 per month with utilities included as well. This price does include internet access too though there may also need additional fees paid monthly such like electricity bills etc. If someone doesn't mind living outside central town near Wat Damnik Temple around Fum Thimi where they can find many affordable options in terms of housing and food then it might make sense to consider one of these co-working spots. The co-workers cafe is located on street 136 just southeast from Pub Street, which offers an open-air office environment that includes free Wi-Fi, while Nomad House has more private offices on offer. 7. Koh Lanta Island, Thailand. If you are looking for a fresh start, then consider becoming a digital nomad and living in Koh Lanta Island. There are many benefits to this lifestyle that may appeal to you. First of all, it can be an affordable way to live because the cost of living is low in Thailand compared to other places like the United States or Western Europe. You also have access to some great food choices here as well as beautiful beaches and tropical weather year-round. Co-working spaces in Koh Lanta are plentiful, meaning that while operating there as a digital nomad you will have plenty of options for where to work. Some popular choices include Nomad House, which offers an open-air office environment that includes free Wi-Fi while other co-working spaces like the hub offer more private offices on the premises and a cafe with delicious food. The cost is also very reasonable here as well, you can get your own studio apartment in this area starting at $250 per month depending upon how much space you need, and if it has amenities such as hot water or AC. If all these things sound good then consider becoming one yourself by visiting Koh Lanta Island today. 8. Barcelona, Spain. For many years, Barcelona has been a popular location for digital nomads to call home. There are plenty of co-working spaces and cafes with fast internet connections that you'll have no problem finding your way around. The city is also full of great museums, restaurants, nightlife spots, and beaches, all within walking distance from each other so you can easily work during the day then explore at night. If you're looking for a digital nomad destination with plenty of co-working spaces and cafes, Barcelona is the place to go. The city has great museums, including Picasso's, restaurants within walking distance from each other so that it won't be difficult finding places where one can work during daytime then explore at night when they are done working or exploring their surroundings in this amazing European country. Barcelona is an incredible city with so many wonderful sights to see, and it's also a great place to work remotely. It has plenty of co-working spaces, cafes with fast Wi-Fi connections so you can get your job done while exploring the city. 9. Lisbon. Portugal. Lisbon is a beautiful city. It's sunny, has great weather and is full of life, culture and interesting people. 
You can tell that it is the liveliest city around with the always busy streets and plenty of cafes to enjoy during your free time while you're living as a digital nomad in Lisbon. There are lots of co-working spaces in Lisbon and the city is becoming more and more popular as a destination for digital nomads. Lisbon is a beautiful city. It's sunny, has great weather and full of life culture with interesting people around the streets always busy cafes to enjoy during your free time while you're living as digital nomad in Lisbon. The city has everything that one needs when working remotely, fast Wi-Fi connections everywhere so it doesn't matter where we go or what cafe, co-working space they choose, plenty of co-working spaces available at all times, good food options nearby if someone wants something more than just coffee from their favorite cafe. There are also many other benefits like affordable housing prices which means less money spent each month. 10. Tbilisi, Georgia. Tbilisi, Georgia is a hidden gem that has recently become an attractive place for the digital nomad lifestyle. In recent years, Tbilisi has been recognized as one of the top 10 places to visit in 2018 by Lonely Planet and was voted the best city in Eastern Europe by the New York Times. Tbilisi is home to a diverse and welcoming community of digital nomads. The city has plenty of co-working spaces, fast Wi-Fi connections everywhere so it doesn't matter where we go or what cafe, co-working space they choose. Good food options nearby if someone wants something more than just coffee from their favorite cafe. There are also many other benefits like affordable housing prices which means less money spent each month for the typical expat in Tbilisi, around $600 per square meter. The country of Georgia has gone through a lot of changes over the past couple of decades, but it has been able to maintain its own culture and traditions while also embracing the digital nomad lifestyle. Georgia is a great place for those who are looking at starting their business or freelancing from abroad because there's no income tax, so they can keep more money in your pocket each month.